Now, schools are suspended due to the pandemic, which means that bullying is not taking place in schools. But over on the World Wide Web, bullying between children still happens every day. With kids spending more time confined at home, online hate speech and abusive language are on the rise. Formosa News reporter Stephanie Yang speaks to Taiwan experts working to combat cyberbullying among children amid the pandemic. Cyberbullying incidents have soared as people spend more of their time on the internet. Early on in the pandemic, an Israeli-based startup called Light analyzed millions of websites and found a 70% increase in hate speech among children and teens. So, cyberbullying this thing is actually a very exciting issue. Cyberbullying is quite a new phenomenon. Due to the pandemic and people staying at home, this situation is even more complicated. Because when you're home all day, you've got nobody but your family and the internet. Cyberbullying can be especially difficult for children who are isolated from their friends. To help children tackle cyberbullies, the John Tung Foundation has designed educational materials and teaching plans for cyberbullying prevention. The foundation is working with schools in Greater Taipei to deliver a curriculum on recognizing cyber bullying and how to respond. It's also created an Instagram account called DailyMental.tw, where content is posted to help kids cope with cyberbullying. In addition to promoting lesson plans and lectures on campus, we also created an Instagram account. We hope to use language that is closer to teenagers to help them and relieve them of the possible pressure of cyberbullying. Of course, we also hope that through advocacy activities, we can let cyberbullies develop self-discipline and understand that cyberbullying can cause serious harm to others. In addition, John Tung Foundation is working to educate people who engage in cyberbullying. It's created an acronym, THINK, to remind people to ask whether their comments are true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, and kind. On our official website, we will set up a special area to prevent online bullying, provide new information and articles, as well as videos. Our very important appeal is THINK, THINK. We hope that children and adults, before pressing the keyboard, can think about whether the words they say and the words they type will hurt others. One middle school counselor says that parents have an important role to play in preventing cyberbullying. I have observed that almost every student now has a mobile phone. Social media is a platform for them to make friends with other people. The most commonly used social media is Instagram. But when using the social media, children don't necessarily possess internet literacy. Some students may believe that Instagram stories only last for 24 hours or it's gone after we delete it. Therefore, they vent their frustrations online, but ignore the fact that even though it was uploaded for just a few minutes, it is possible for others to screen grab it and send it to others. Some parents tighten their control of children's internet time as a punishment. But this is not really a solution to the problem. It just makes the children more resistant. What we really want to do is to let them know the features of the online world and to teach them about how to avoid the harm caused by cyberbullying. Parents are key to shaping children's online behaviors and their attitudes towards other people on the Internet. Experts urge parents to get involved in their kids' online world so that they can provide the guidance that's needed at the right time. For Most of News, Stephanie Yang, Lu Bo Chong in Taipei.